asked if people who were in the uh, killing at the synagogue, would they be in heaven be uh, now, that's my or hotel. in hell? Well, heaven. let me first tell you that I, I do not yeah. know where they will be because I'm not God. However, let me tell you what the Bible teaches. What the Bible teaches is that if you are living a life of sin, your final destination is hellfire. Now, the way to get out of there, or the way to, not to get out of there, but the way to escape that, the Bible says that there's only one way. And that way is Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is the only way. The Bible says that Jesus is the life. The Bible says that Jesus is the truth. Can you repeat that again? Doesn't the Bible also say that God made a promise to the Jewish people? That he would always be there. On the inside of us is a dead man, man. God made a promise to the Jewish people. Yes, he did. And the promise was that he will send his Messiah. And the Messiah is Jesus Christ, who will provide an atonement, meaning a substitute for their sin, that if they repent and put their trust in Jesus, they can be saved. What's, so, what's, again, what's again, let me, let me what, finish. No, I'm not gonna let you well, finish. I'm going what to fucking, finish. What fucking sin I'm going did my people finish. commit in that fucking synagogue? Uh, you want to fucking tell me? Calm down, man. Do not fucking touch me. Do not fucking let me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I didn't say lecture. I said fucking lecture. Calm down, man. Calm down. You know what the fuck I'm saying? Do not fucking touch me. Do not fucking touch me. Calm down, young man. Calm down. Go fuck yourself. We are in a high level education in institution. Act like it. Act like it. Act like it. Act like it. We're in a high level education institution. Act like it. Like I'm, not gonna touch him. I'm not going to touch and him. And there's police officers here. You don't want to get arrested. Please, calm down. No, let's have you. a civil, let's have a civil, let's have a civil conversation. Well, if you're not going to have a civil conversation, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm done with you. You can walk away. That's fine. No one here wants okay, to listen to your shit either. Okay, well, go away. Go fuck yourself. Practice what go you preach. Go fuck yourself, you Practice piece of shit. Practice what you preach. Go, go fuck away. yourself. You say no one wants to listen? Practice what you preach. Go Back away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Hi, Dan. Go fuck Talk about me. Okay. No, 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 no. I love no, no, you. No, no, no. I love you. Hey, hey, hey. Bless you, young man. So, now, yes, Jesus was a Jewish man. This is George man. Mason yes. Campus. Yes, he was. Jorge and, Pena yes. of Jesus DC for Jesus died preaching. For the whole world, not only for the Jewish people. Yes, Jesus died for the entire world. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that includes you, that includes you, that includes you as well. Yes, you I'm as well. I like that part. So, God so loved you uh -huh. in spite of all your dirty sin. Oh, yes. Yeah. The Bible says that while we were still say? sinners, Jesus died for us. While we were still sinners, Jesus died for, for the ungodly. Now, the Bible says, again, that there's only one way in which all of your sins can be forgiven. And that way is Jesus. So, you still have a sin. And the Bible says that today is the day of salvation. Yes. It's pretty intense out here. You might not be here tomorrow. You may be dressed as death, but this place seems pretty alive. I really hope you don't die tonight, because Shelby, if you die tonight as a witch, yeah, yeah, and let, and let me look at you straight in the eyes, Shelby, if you die tonight as a witch, I am dead serious, you will spend it down in hell, according to the Bible, but that's why I'm here, that's why I'm here, that's why God sent a messenger to you,
They told me to take my mask off. A bail. Okay, do 10 more minutes and we can pack it up. We gotta go to the next venue. what Jesus did on the cross for you. And that's what the Bible teaches, that there's only one way to heaven, and that way is Jesus. Make sure you keep that in mind. That's the message today, that Jesus can set you free, that Jesus can erase your sin, that Jesus can give you life, that Jesus can set you straight, that Jesus can deliver you from all of your sin, that Jesus can solve you, oh, that Jesus can set you free from your depression, Jesus can set you free from your poor watching, Jesus can set you free from your poor Jesus can set you free today. But I know many of you do not want to be set free. Many of you want to continue to live a life of sin. Now, do we have any Christians here on the crowd? Any Christians here on the crowd? Attention until these hecklers with the drums came out and started ridiculing what he was saying. And as a result, the crowd gathered. And although most of them still laugh at the message, they have to hear the message and they can't unhear it. And we hope and pray that God will do amazing things with that. I'm dressed as death right now because people don't seem to realize that on the inside, they're dead. They may look like they're okay on the outside, but on the inside, they're dead. And that's more terrifying than anything you're going to encounter in Halloween. For you Christians, so, pray for the people that are here, thinking, hopefully thinking, those who don't want to think, but may think later. And pray for more believers to, whatever you mean, in your own weak way, to be able to say and do things like this in public with strangers who may never encounter this truth by themselves. 
and don't seek it out by themselves. And you'll not do it perfectly. You might, people might laugh at you. It's worth it. Pray for fruit here. The people will not be dead on the inside anymore. But they'll come to life. Use holidays like Halloween to speak truth. It's a great opportunity. You can take the ridicule, if you can take the danger, you reap a great harvest. That's all I got to say. Oh, hell yeah, we're on this side now. Even more of me. Well, let me tell you what. God came up with the rainbow. You homosexuals stole it from me. Yeah, 